Welcome to my channel once again and in this video I'm going to take you through uh, to answer the questions uh, on this table here about Excel. So we are going to answer all these questions, the six, okay, the seven of, the, of them. So the first one is uh, enter the, the data shown into a spreadsheet and save it as Excel. So this is the name of the file, Excel. Therefore, we are going to all programs and choose Excel. Open Office 19. Choose a blank workbook and try to save it as Excel. Choose location by clicking the browse. I will save it on desktop in this folder. And call it Excel. So we are done with number one. Okay, the second question is about entering this data into a worksheet. And uh, this uh, I'll just copy direct, paste it there. Whenever you need this kind of ashes, it means that the field size is very small, so you need to adjust the, the fields or the columns. It will be okay. Necessary. So, already I have done what is required here. Enter the data in the spreadsheet and save it as Excel. To copy the content of sheet 1, Push it to into exact position and rename it as new price. Therefore, when you are told to copy, don't select everything like this or else it's like this. No, just select the working area only. Then, you copy command there. Copy it to sheet 2 at the same location and paste. Uh, you can check this paste operation, okay. Just adjust this row size. Okay, then you are going to rename this sheet as new price. Enter. So we are done with question B. But not yet. We've got another part here. Insert a new row. After it is a not new, it is a new column. After the amount here, yeah, and label it as new price. The suppliers of the items decide to increase all the items by 20%. Enter the percentage into a cell A18 using absolute reference. Calculate the new price of each of the items in the new price column column after the amount draw and label it as new price and this absolutely is going to calculate the new price given that there is increase of 20 percent therefore we are supposed to include a new column there uh, and such cell exactly so it's the new price we are going to put 20 percent here this means okay percent increase here price therefore will be is equals to uh, as equals to hundred plus uh, for two of it is to be uh, two hundred times which is absolute now that should be absolute la a plus the sell again so this is the new price we have got all the details Save the one. Question You are instructed to copy the content of sheet 1 to sheet 3 and rename it as subtotals. As subtotals. 
That's what I'm going to do. Sheet one. Other sheet. And name the sheet is Lotus. After copying the content, you are supposed to find the subtotals for each supplier and display the grant total. So when told to find the where the supplier, so when I told to find the subtotal, the first thing is to sort your data. I select all of it, then at data, I click sort, and I will sort according to the suppliers. This is the name. A to Z. Then that is the first second thing is to subtotal now. After find after sorting, now we do the subtotaling. Click data tab and subtotal. You want to find the subtotal at each change in name. This function sum to find the amount. Sub the amount. Exactly. So Joseph sold it four hundred. Mike ten thousand. Peter eighty four hundred. And Tony eighty three hundred. Grand total eighty two. You are requested to create a column chart to compare the names and the total cost. And that's what I'm going to do. So click the name. Holding uh, control key, click the amount. Yeah. Okay, start again. So, Joseph, 5400. Mike, 10,700. Peter, 80. Peter, 8400. Okay, 8300. So, insert the column chart. So, that is quite good. Then, you add axis. So, that should be. Post of items. This one should be names. Then you are done with that. And uh, the name of the chart is suppliers comparison. The name of the chart. Therefore, we're going to rename it. It's the name. So we are not uh, told to format the chart, I will format mine. It's more attractive, just like this. So to avoid the chart from uh, uh, covering the data, I will just move it there. So we are told to place the, the graph in on a new sheet and rename the sheet as bar graph. Bar graph. So I will just copy, I will just cut it. Select the chart, then go to cut in a new sheet, uh, new sheet, then select paste. Here comes my chart. Here comes my chart, and the name of this sheet is bar graph. I require to filter. The records of all suppliers whose new price is greater than or equal to 6000 or less than 250 and copy the result to the filtered sheet. Therefore, select this uh, column, that one, filter. Click this down arrow and go to number filters. The problem of between should be greater than or equal to 6000 or Less than 250. That we shall be having. We are going to copy all of this data and take it to filter. Exactly. Go to open sheet one and restrict the cells in amount column to allow entry of amounts between 0 and 6,000. So this is how you do it. Open sheet 1, select that column, go to data. 
find validation of data is data validation any value yes it should be a number between what minimum is zero and maximum is six thousand the question is not over then after that we are told to input amount less than or equal to 6 that should be displayed okay. less than or equal to 6,000 and the plate will input input then what else are you told to do? In the case of invalid entry, the, the message amount greater than 6 should be displayed. Then error alert. Greater than 6 Okay. You can see it is working. You can see. Even if I put something like 50,000, you won't accept. Amount greater than 6,000, you try. So that's how to insert a header and then print all the worksheets. So this is how you insert them. Go to insert, text, header and footer. Type your name. For so example, my name is Robert. Okay. I'm done with that. Then you are going to print all the watches. So go to file, print, I see sheets now. And I want to book. Click and I have then you print. Then that is the end of our practical. Thank you for being with me all over that time.